Hey cronies, uh, welcome back to our vlog. Um, today we make one of our next Q&A's. The last Q&A, it's a long time ago. I do not know when it was. Um, yeah, we had some questions and we have in total 11 questions. Charmy mm -hmm. doesn't know the questions. Um, they are splitted. There's one question about our bike. Uh, some questions about general, about us, and also questions about the board for sure. Some questions we answered already uh, in the comment, but I th we thought or I thought it would be better to also make a Q&A so we can um, answer the questions who came the most. First question, how many months has Andre been in the Philippines now? So, yeah. You were here um, September? September 2022. September so 2022. One and a half years now, but there was three months we went to Germany. Yeah. So it's, it's one like year and three months. Yeah, correct. Um, next question. So the question goes to me. How much do you pay her? I wish you would pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we don't know why this question, I, I mean, you know, for sure there is this cliché about Filipinas, but I need to say some questions are so, I would say, childish and uneducated that um, we answer that like question so you can, yeah, so you guys can see what kind of questions we have to deal with sometimes, but it's so crazy that there are really people in this world who have that such a poor life that they waste their time comment, making comments like this under videos of other people. So how much do you pay me? Zero. Unfortunately. Zero. Yeah. That's the question, that's the answer. That's the, I hope you... And the thing is, even they would mean it in the in the serious way and you would give them the answer they do not believe it you know yes, yes. crazy but it's this kind of question is very often and yeah. if what if you would ask me if i'm i feel offended by this kind of comment sometimes the answer is no i'm not bothered with yeah, any of it because it's them who have, has a sad soul you know it's not that charm needs to feel offended because no, I think uh, you don't feel offended if you know the truth. Yeah, and I think also, I mean, it's such a short question, but, and just a few words, but it, this little question shows so much about the person behind that comments, oh, and yeah. it says so much about, you know, that, yeah, yeah. yeah like you cannot example, take it serious, actually. Yeah, like for example, a lot of, um, especially women, would always say, rude things about me especially filipinas mm. like oh you're a slut or something you're a prostitute something like that you are not a good person but the fact that they are saying always negative shows that they are the one who is not a good person and not me yeah yeah it shows me about themselves so yeah. um next question what does shots mean yeah by the way, here Schatz is wrong uh, spelling. Yeah. I show you now how it really is yes. the right word. Do you want to answer that question, Schatz? What does Schatz mean? Schatz means like darling. For me, it's like darling, but he says like treasure or mm. yeah, it's like an endearment. Yeah, it's Some would say like my love, honey. In German, it's like Schatz. Schatz, yeah. They're right. The 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 correct translation is treasure. Yeah. Um, but you also say it to people who has a big value in your life or a big worth in your life. Yeah. But I always, I'm always the one who calls you shots. Yeah. True. And you married? Why, Aren't, wife? Yeah. Aren't, Aren't you married? Yeah. Uh, no, we are not married yet. Um, no, he means that if I am not married, if I am not married, why I have a boyfriend or something like. I know, wait, wait. No, he, he think, means that I am actually married, why I have a boyfriend. I see this question. He thinks we are married, why you we call each, why you, why we have boyfriend in our something. Or it could also be 
Yeah, same. but the, the answer is same. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. We are not married yet, but we gave so many explanations already to this. I think if you guys are interested, you can just go back in some of our vlogs. Uh, I let you one card here. And in this card, you can see in this vlog the complete answer about Charmy and me. And also when you see our description line about our channel, there's also everything answered. And the, to make it long short, we are not married. Um, we are live-in partners. Yeah, something like that. You know. He is not married. I am Still, married from my previous yeah. relationship. Correct. But I know a lot of people will say like, oh my god, what you're doing is illegal, blah, blah, blah. But actually, guys, but actually, guys, between me and my partner, we are in good terms. And he is also in a relationship. So we don't have toxic relationship at all. Wherein if one of us is in a relationship, one of us would attack each um, other person. You know, we are not like that. We are yeah, at home. And, and there is something I need to say about this... Uh, not legal stuff. I was um, uh, checking the laws about that, and it's not that. For example, if Chami and me we are in a relationship, and this this thing about crime, it is just a crime if your partner uh, would make it to a um, case. It's not that the neighbor of Chami can go there now and say. She is married and she has... Yes, yes. Yeah, it's just a partner. It's a partner has the right to correct, actually make to, a case or something. Correct. And in our case, it would be so stupid because Chami's partner or ex has also... A, a lot of relationships. Yeah, <laughs> relationships in that time. So that means if he would start making a crime to that thing, Chami could just... Yeah, fire back. Fire back. To this situation so this this it is just a crime when one feel attacked by it so when always the people write down like oh Chami is committing a crime or something mm -hmm. it is not 100% right it's not it's it's not a case yeah like I said it's only my husband can file a case but he cannot because we are in good terms yeah. and we made he it knows clear about me. Sometimes we three of us will meet each other because we need to do uh, some things, you know. Yeah. So there is like no for example, uh, this week we will meet each other again. Yeah. So there is just a crime if one of one of them would feel offended or insulted or something, but or it's upset. not. Yeah. But it's not like this. But we are not like that, guys. Yeah. Just curious, what do you do with the baby rabbits, Shami? Are you giving them to people? <laughs> guys, honestly speaking, I would like to have them all. But since in the beginning, I think I tricked Andre a little bit because he want, I told him I'm going to have them and I'm going to sell some, you know. But he doesn't know that I want to have as much as uh, a lot of them. And sometimes he always pushed me to like, either you give it away or you sell them because too much is not nice. No. So I am selling them, some of them, but sometimes when the baby rabbits are nice, I try to keep them and I try to ask Andre if I could have them. <laughs> yeah, but there is something what also I think it's it's not that Chami make bis big business now with no. it because if Chami sells the rabbits, um, it is a plus minus thing because Chami needs to buy feeds and water and it's everything. Not, it's not a business. And then you when you compare what Chami spent for the <laughs> rabbits <spend> a lot. <laughs> and what she get back because she sell one small rabbit for four dollars <laughs> or 200 peso then this is not it's not what you can call this it's Chami's hobby she loves it she loves the rabbit but if I would not be the one who always say sell them now or give it away then we would have hundreds already and yes, this is not what I want can you do a test when it's dark? I'm interested if the front lead lights are strong enough when it's dark. In July, I will be rent. I will rent the same motorbike for my trip in the Philippines. Um, I can try to make a, a video about how the lights is in the dark. Uh, I can give you 
my opinion about it already. The light, the normal tr driving light is okay. I don't know the English word, but the the flashlight, the strong light. Front light. Yeah, I would say compared to the basic light, it's not stronger. I mean, but when you, you can still drive it. Yeah, yeah, you can drive it, but it's not that when you turn on this high light, this 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 uh, flashlight, you don't have this feeling that you can see much more. Okay. Yeah. About the vlog itself, what I made about the uh, about our Honda ADV 160, you can see it here in the card. Um, there is also something more I would like to say, a little upgrade, but I think I will do it in the next next vlog, because there is also some other things I um, observe what I don't like. Uh, one main thing I don't like. But I think I will make it to an upgrade video next time. We have also five questions in total about our boat. Um, about the muffler, the noise. Yeah, and about noise and other things. We're gonna go through this now. We just picked the five questions we were asked the most. But we wanna show you, before we start with this five questions, we wanna show you a little upgrade. Because we got our snorkeling equipment yes so guys if you want to book our boat finally you don't need to rent uh, snorkeling equipment from other people you can rent this from with us. us from us yes. because this one cost 150 from others we just rent it for 100 correct it will be a little bit cheaper for cheaper. you cheaper and we have it in gold matching to our design of our boat. Yes. We have 10 of this now. Uh, Brother Ray Mark, he tested it because he is a diver. He goes... Um, he goes swimming. Uh, no, fishing. No, fishing, spare fishing. So he has good knowledge about this and he yes. said the quality is really good. And this is how it will look together. Yeah. This is our new what equipment. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? That is a one big update of our boat. It arrived today. Yeah. And we're gonna keep it also in this nice thing. After every um, after every trip, we're gonna clean it and also disinfect disinfections. And then when it's clean, we're gonna put this back in this. Uh, covers so you guys can be assured that when you rent it out it's always clean and sanitized. So guys before we will proceed we would like to talk about our boat if you're interested in island hopping we're gonna be um, doing island hopping for two islands Balikasag Island and Virgin Island you can do dolphin watching, snorkeling, um, turtle watching and we have a promo if you are 5 to 10 person guys instead of 5,000 we're gonna give you if you are one of our followers or subscribers we're gonna give you 1,000 less so it's for the, just for the transfer for the boat and transfer yeah. including cruise just 4,000 pesos Correct. so you have to pay um, extra for the recent fee which is everything normal here and the snorkeling equipment which is just 100 instead of 150, 150 from us so if you are willing to book an appointment message us on facebook charmy shipping lines Panglao. correct you can see the link in our description and then uh, yes. just go in contact with us it's mostly me or charmy who answer so you can also chat with us if you guys like yeah. um yeah just check our website, our Facebook page. The website is still on working process. Uh, we have still some issues with bank and transfer, what we need to find out. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Facebook is already online and you guys can go in contact with us. Yeah. Awesome, beautiful scenery. Would a muffler help with the boat motor? Yeah, the engine uh, thing is something we uh, we are honest with you. Um, we had this diesel engines, it's two, and they have 16.5 horsepower each. 
um, our goal was to make new ones, but the boat and also the equipment, everything was so much more expensive because of pandemic than we expect. Yeah, than we expected. That's the reason why we have at the moment no budget, budget for new engines. Yeah. Um, that's the reason why we at the moment we are driving with these engines, but in the middle of this year, latest in the end of the year, our goal is to renew the engines, to make it to an upgrade. And in that moment we're gonna also find a solution, brother Mark and me, how we can make the noise reducing. Our engines are in the body and covered, so our, in, our bunker is actually compared to other bunkers really silent way silent yes yeah. i'm telling you if um you come in the philippines and you go island hopping or if you are one of the foreigners or person who have been in island hopping i think you have idea already of how loud the engines here actually and andrew wanted it to make less um noisier yeah but actually it's less lesser because we always close the engine during drive um, yeah. but compared to others actually um, others are way louder yeah. in the video where this all this question came about the uh, noise you need to know that we have two uh, hatch two doors going down to the body where the engines are and while driving with gas these doors are closed and in the video the doors were open because when there are no guests and like I said, it's air-cooled yeah. engine. We, yeah, to, um, uh, what is this? Yeah, for the sake of our engines, we let the doors open so they can breathe. <laughs> it was way more louder in the video like it is actually. Yeah. The a muffler would help us for sure. But like I said, as long as we do not have the new engines, I do not want to uh, invest money in um, mufflers or a new system because it is just a temporary uh, situation. Engine, yeah. Yeah. Where are you located? Because I'm going on holiday to the Philippines makes me excited <laughs> with my girlfriend in the summer so I really want to go snorkeling with you guys. Greetings from Netherlands. Oh thank you so much. Um, we have read a lot of questions as well about where we are located in we are from Bohol. Our boat is in Panglao, which is really the tourist spot. Good for snorkeling, good for island hopping, guys. So, um, if you came to, if you want to go for snorkeling, you must visit Panglao, Bohol. And there we are located. Yeah. Aluna Beach, North Faos Beach, this area, we can pick you up. Yes, and um, if you guys want to contact with us, go to our Facebook page here. How to book your boat? Oh, yeah, that's we the answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Message us on Facebook or email, no? Because some don't have Facebook. Um, yeah, email is also possible. You can see the link here. Yeah. What about the insurance for the boat? How does that work there? Okay. We have insurance for the boat. Um, for. Yeah, for the guests. For so when you are driving with our boat uh, as guests, you are insured Oh, the marina in Cebu. Mm. Um, this is actually something what you need to know before you start your business, uh, you can start your business, you need to have this insurance. Without this insurance, you do not get the paperwork business, to yeah. business permit and further steps. Um, and but I also want to say in that case now is that you have to renew this insurance every year. Mm -hmm. And when you see some other people offering tourists boats, you can see that the range from the prices are really low, low mm -hmm. and high. And we had questions already why we are more expensive than others. Mm -hmm. So I need want to take the chance now to give you the insurance and also say about this that based on my calculation, our calculation and I learned it in uh, my training in Germany as a businessman 
is that the price we are doing here is the price when you want to do it official and everything following the rules. And I can give you a guarantee if the prices you are can way lower. are way lower, like some offering in Panglao, this is not legal work what they are doing. And I give you also the guarantee if something happened to you, you will not be insured because yeah. they cannot give you that prices with insurance and paying tax and everything. This is not possible. Okay? So I really give you a big, big advice or a tip. If you think that our boat, our service is too expensive, what is okay if you think that way, be careful going with the lowest. You need offer. to like think about the risk as well, yeah. especially when you are on the sea, the risk is high, the risk is always there, you know. Yeah. But what we can assure is everyone who will be on our boat is um, assured yeah. and also our boat. Yeah. So that's just what I wanted to say about the pricing. And um, also guys, if you also want to compare when we talk about boats, our boat is new. Everything is new. You cannot yeah. get something like this. Everyone who would see our boat, everyone says they've never seen such a nice boat. Even the Coast Guards. Even the Coast Guards yeah. itself. The Coast Guards, it's funny, they know the name of our boat already. <laughs> When they see me, they say, "Ah, oh, you are the owner of Mila Lotta. I say, yeah, yeah, so nice boat, so yeah. nice boat. It's like a yacht, it's like, it's always funny because they do not know us, they know the name of our boat. Yes. So, last question. Do you have to go to all the crowded places or can you also show your guests under um, undiscovered spots? I have huge respect for the efforts you to make. Thank you. Thank you. Um, actually, our boat, okay, we can also go to Pamilangkan actually because it's... Correct, yeah, this so, the three islands we can... Yeah, here in Panglao guys, there is um, island hopping. We, our banka can go to this separate island which is less crowded. Uh, this is just a whole day tour and if you want to choose this one, you just go in one island because it's way far farther from Panglao. Mm. And there you can have really you can really enjoy the sunsets uh the beach less people it's but you can at the same time go snorkeling um dolphin watching i don't know if uh, about turtle watching but for sure philippines is when it comes to nature they are strict because here in the philippines in the seas of philippines there is a lot of animals who are protected there's a lot of um, regulations because they want to make sure that the people can enjoy the nature but do not break or destroy the nature and for that reasons for an example every time before we drive we need to go to the coast guards and to the tu tourism office mm -hmm. and pay fees and make a check up with the coast guards that we are ready to drive and that's what they are doing this to ensure that there's not too much boats without license or too much tourists on the same spot. So there is a regulation already and we need to follow the, or we want to follow this regulation. Yeah, but guys, um, in here in Panglao, if you really want to go to a place where in not much people, I can suggest you this Pamilakan Island, mm. which is really less people because it's a bit far. It's yeah. like one and a half hour drive going there. And the other one, the other tour that we have, will have uh, in one day we go to islands, Balikasag Island and Virgin Island. Uh, the reason why these bunkers are always on the same spot and we cannot drive the opposite way to uh, yeah, drive around the crowded spots is that we have to follow some regulations and we need to also follow some timing when it comes to dolphin watching. Yeah, that was the last question. Yeah, we hope that you guys, that one of your questions was also included and we hope we was trying to make, to find out what, what questions was asked the most mm -hmm. and we hope that uh, the questions are now answered. If you have further questions or additional questions or you want to know something more in detail, let us know in the comments below so we can make a new Q&A in the next week. 
in the next time. You know. Actually, yeah. we are trying to make more Q and A's now because we got a lot of questions, but we have not much time always to find uh, the time to answer. But we say to each other now today we need to do it. Especially we had so many questions about the boat. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. And like always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.